Hey, yeah, so this is the Thunderbird grilled cheese with fries and a ginger ale here at Bombshell Stella's at the Owen Sound Boat Launch in beautiful downtown Owen Sound. Well, not quite downtown, but you get what I'm talking about, okay? Anywho. Oh. Anywho. Today we're going to talk about the Moche Civilization. Yes, a departure from my usual angry rants. Hmm. The Moche, or pre-Inca civilization in Peru, whose golden age was the period around 200 AD till around 400 AD, and whose entire run was from 200 BC to 800 AD. A thousand years for a civilization that hadn't figured out writing yet. Not bad. But they did have a few things going for them. They had beautiful architecture, beautiful murals on their architecture, beautiful textiles. They were weavers and embroiderers extraordinaire. Alpaca hair and llama hair was their medium. They were also ceramics people. They made beautiful ceramics. Their pottery was incredible. And a large part of their pottery is portrait vases which appear to have been actual portraits of real life people. Of course, they also had ceramics that depicted sex. And the sex pottery of the Moche people was uh, initially dismissed by anthropologists as indications of mental illness and aberration because it wasn't all one man, one woman, purely procreative and missionary position. The Moche portrayed human sexuality very, very, how shall we say, openly, comfortably, and cheerfully. Mm, well. And they made no bones about the fact that some people are gay, or bi, or tri. They had no problems with that. They had no problems with the fact that some people were kinky. They had no problem with the fact that some people occasionally like to have parties, very fun parties, involving more than two people, sometimes more than three people. And there are portrayals of sex parties that involved up to five individuals, the logistics of which Eh, interesting. Honestly, I've never tried a fivesome before. So if you've tried one, you should probably mention it down below and explain the logistics. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is such a good sandwich. Mm. No. Anywho. Mm. For the most part, the Mote portrayed consensual sex between consenting adults, all of whom want to be there and are enjoying themselves immensely. And whether these adults are homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual, trisexual, or whatever, seems to be quite irrelevant. What mattered to the moche was the physical act of fucking within the context of mutual consent, love, affection, adoration, and the overall celebration of life in a blissful way. You can look up the Moche pottery, and especially the Moche pottery, erotic pottery. Go for it, Google it, and uh, you will find some incredible things. The faces and the genitalia tend to be very, very lifelike, while the bodies tend to be distorted because after all, we're talking about a vessel that is intended to contain liquid. So the bodies are nece necessarily distorted. <clears throat> but the facial expressions are very true to life. And they are highly indicative of very happy people having a very good time with each other. Oh. Exactly the sort of thing that missionaries hated. Uh, 
luckily for the Moche, their civilization died before the missionaries came and was buried before the missionaries went looking for such beautiful portrayals of human sexuality. As a result, the missionaries were not able to destroy it, and so we are able to enjoy it. Absolutely. The fries are great here. you got to come down to Bombshell Stella's. Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. So anyway, it's a gorgeous day. If you're not outside enjoying it, my question to you is, why the hell not? Take care. Be well. Stay safe.